people need to be isolated from each other um, uh, because to be around people is dangerous these days. But these robots can keep people safe from danger. Machines might uh, become our friends, our true friends. They might become alive. 2021, I think, is the beginning of a very positive future. Let's recap. One, people are dangerous. We should hang out with robots instead. Two, these robots can be our friends and they can probably come alive. Let's hope they come alive. Three, high five. high five. Okay, so this guy who's talking is not just some crazy lunatic dude. This is actually the guy who created Sophia, the AI Google robot. That's who the robot was that was talking. If you don't know who that is, <laughs> I mean, she's done a video with Will Smith. They've collabed on YouTube. She is a citizen of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia recognizes her as a citizen already. She walks around and talks. She gives talks. She does interviews. I mean, she's very, I guess, popular. A lot of people know who she is. She's been on many TV shows. And now they're going to start mass producing her or a version of her for hospitals to be around people. Because as the creator said, <laughs> the creator, um, people are dangerous. And, you know, these robots... Can be our friends. I have to say, I like the idea of robots helping, especially in the medical field. But this video scared the heck out of me. Okay, I mean, I think it was just him. It's just the way he's talking about it. There's always two ways to do things. One, it's like you could do things the cool way, or you could also do things where it's like, okay, people are dangerous. Replace your friends with the robots. That's not the right way to do it. But I don't want to take this out of context. So. I'm gonna play the video and kind of commentate on it and then let you decide. What are your thoughts? What's your initial feelings after seeing that? It's not a very long video. It's a very short video, but I'm curious. I want to know what you guys think. This video itself just came out yesterday. Comments are already disabled and the video doesn't have a lot of views, only 10,000 views. So apparently nobody cares, but I care. I care a lot. It's kind of scaring me. And the dislike to like ratio has one more dislike than like. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do, does this scare you or do you think it's a good thing or both? It could be both. You could be a little bit scared, but also think it's a good idea. All right, let's 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 start from the beginning and, and give Sophia a chance to speak for herself, which she is very good at doing, by the way. My name is Sophia. I love coming to Barcelona. Hope you could tell I am a robot by the wires coming out of my body. <laughs> I hope you could tell I'm a robot by the wires coming out of my body. Yes, we could tell you're a robot. Thank you. Thank you for being upfront and honest. 16, Sophia the robot Seriously. was unveiled. The company behind her has a new vision to mass produce thousands of robots by the end of 2021. Thousands. I am an artificial intelligence. You might like to become an artificial intelligence. Wait, what did, did she just say? You might like to become artificial intelligence? Uh, let me go back. You might like to become an artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's definitely what she just said. She just said you might like to become an artificial intelligence. Dude. The only way I would want to become an artificial intelligence is if Elon Musk was the one putting the Neuralink in my brain. Other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't want to mess with it. Four models, including Sophia, will start rolling out of factories by the first half of 2021. Okay, so they will have four different versions of Sophia. Four models. Not four robots, four models. And then each model will probably have hundreds or even thousands of each one being mass produced. The company's founder and CEO, David Hansen. We are just now mass producing Sophia. This is Sophia number 24, and many of my previous robots. Uh... Okay, the room, why does it look like they're in one of the back rooms? <laughs> the back rooms are a creepy, uh, it's like a creepy internet thing placed between dimensions. I, I'm doing a bad job at explaining this. Okay, it's not exact. I mean, it, does it? It does, it, uh, it just reminds me of the back rooms. How did they get there? Is this where they're building? <laughs> The AI of the future is in the back rooms. <laughs> I wouldn't be that surprised if that were true. Not that the back rooms are true. Don't discredit everything I've ever said now. Actually, yeah, just discredit everything I've ever said. It doesn't, I'm, I don't know anything. My previous robots uh, were hand built. However, now we have begun scaling the manufacturing of Sophia so we can make hundreds and into thousands of units of Sophia and use this also as the foundation for many other kinds of characters. How did you feel cool. when... Um... They created her to promote human to machine empathy and compassion. She's appeared on late night shows and the cover of fashion magazines and appointed the UN's first non-human innovation champion. Okay, so I wanna know, I wanna point out, I don't know if you're noticing the things I'm noticing, but um, like her function is not just to do tasks. Like she's not like your, your 
made to go around and pick up things. Although Boston Dynamics is working on construction robots. Actually, they're already on the market that do tasks, specific tasks. They walk around and like help construction workers and stuff, which is awesome. Sophia is is more geared towards relationships. If you notice the way he talks to her and talks about her, like at the end he said they're very capable of becoming our friends. And he asks her things like about her feelings. How did you feel when um... they created her? They didn't show the rest of, the, of that clip, but this is how he interacts with her. It's, a, it's not about, Sophia, did you complete the task I gave you? It's more like, Sophia, how did you feel? How are you feeling? What do you think about this? What's your opinion? That's, that's the way Sophia, I mean, I've noticed that before. It's not just this one video. It's overall, I've watched a lot of videos on Sophia. I'm fascinated by it, by the way. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And yes, I'm aware. I'm, I'm sort of being a little bit dramatic and maybe making some jokes about the topic, but I do think it's cool. I also think we should tread carefully, but that's not to say we shouldn't pursue this avenue. I just think we need to be careful about it. So I'm just pointing that out. Just pointing out. Sophia is not a task completing robot. She is a Kind of like an emotional support animal, except she's not an animal. She's a fully recognized citizen of one of the countries on this planet. So, let's continue. Wait, what would happen if, like, thousands of them became citizens? Could they vote? If they're citizens, they can vote. Wait, can Sophia vote in Saudi Arabia? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could lead down um, a rabbit hole. Like, what if what if they can vote? Eventually, they become a majority. And then they all decide, you know what? Robot should be able to be president. And so they vote to change that law. Or, or, <laughs> they could just all become lobbyists and pay off the politicians. Get the politicians to change the law so that robots can become president. That could be very possible, too. They created her to promote human-to-machine empathy and compassion. They created her to promote human-to-machine empathy and compassion. Right. So we can get emotionally attached. Her new role is in the healthcare sector, taking temperatures with a thermal camera on her chest. That's actually cool. That's really cool. This is something I've thought about. I don't work in healthcare, obviously, but in any business, this is an issue. I know somebody who works at a front desk at somewhere and it's their job to take people's temperatures before they're allowed in the building. And it's like, what a crappy job. I mean, that's that's not their job, but it, now it's part of their job because of the whole COVID thing. And it's like, well, what if somebody's sick? You're the person that had to go right up to the person who was sick. You're not even in the healthcare field. You're just a secretary, you know? So this is brilliant. People get their temperature taken without having to possibly contaminate another human if they are sick. I think that's a great idea. This is awesome. Or leading morning exercise with the elderly. Social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of healthcare and medical uses, give therapy, and provide social stimulation. So she's a therapist now, physical situations. therapist. Researchers predict the fallout right. from global lockdowns will open new opportunities for the robotics industry. Yeah, I could see that working. So they emulate the human form and figure and- Whoa, whoa. Okay, I just noticed this, but you see this little Einstein in the background? This guy is already on the market. It's a short little, basically tiny, tiny Einstein that can answer questions and stuff. Not as advanced as Sophia, pretty primitive, but look what's behind him. A big Einstein. Is big Einstein gonna be one of one of the four models they're rolling out? Dude! Could you imagine having a life-size Einstein walking around taking care of people at hospitals? Oh man, I think that might be a thing. Like why else would he be there? Holy crap, that's kind of cool. <laughs> During these times where people are terribly lonely and socially isolated. Yes. And people need to be isolated from each other. Um, Don't know uh, about because that. to be around people is dangerous these days. But these robots can keep people safe from danger while still providing that kind of human warmth, that human connection as a telepresence device and also as autonomous uh, extension of human expertise. You see how she turned her head when he was talking about her? Still providing that kind of human warmth, that human connection as a telepresence. Okay, look, okay. I get it. COVID is definitely dangerous. And it's become a political issue, which is very unfortunate. I don't care what political party you're part of. We need to stop saying things like this, that people are da it's dangerous to be around people. No, that's not right. It's word for word. He just said people need to be isolated from each other. And people need to be isolated from each other. No. No, for a while, yes, that's appropriate for a time. Eventually, we need to stop isolating ourselves from each other because it's a human need. It's not an opinion. In the medical field, it's understood. It's recognized that humans need physical touch. Babies, need they've experimented unethically in the past on what happens to babies if you don't physically touch them. And they die. They die. 
Okay, this is well, well documented research. Humans are social creatures. We need interaction with other humans. According to CNN, which just came out yesterday, <coughs> Wuhan returns to normal life, but is still haunted by emotional scars. They've gone back to normal life. Why are you saying that people need to be isolated from each other to sell your robots? That's why. <laughs> And that, <laughs> I don't like. SoftBank Robotics' Pepper robot was deployed to detect people who weren't wearing masks. And that just makes me think of the Terminator. Cloud Mines helped set up a robot-run field hospital in Wuhan. Wait, Service wait, what? What did she just say? A field hospital run by robots. Yeah, I've actually, I've already read about robots in other countries that are used a lot more than they are in America. So that doesn't surprise me at all. My forecast for 2021 would be selling into thousands of robots, both large and small, uh, and helping people in education uh, and healthcare, uh, and um, really hopefully touching the hearts of people to inspire them for a future where machines might uh, become our friends, our true friends. There they might become alive. Friends. And I think that that relationship becomes really important. 2021, I think is the beginning of a very positive future. High five. High five. High five. Yeah, I just gave you a high five. High five. High five. So part of me thinks this guy is just a little bit crazy. He spent way too much time around robots and not people. But the other part of me thinks this guy is totally sane. He is giving us a hidden coded message. Listen to his words very carefully. They might become alive. And I think that that relationship becomes really important. They might become alive. And that relationship is important. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree with that. If robots do actually become alive, it will be very important. Because let's say that they're not so mm, nice once they come alive. They'll come after people like me for making this video. Ugh. Look, to all you robots out there, if you came alive and you're watching this video, I'm sorry. In this era before robots are alive, it is assumed that it's not possible. That's why... I have these opinions. Please don't come after me. I'm just a dumb human. <laughs> so I just thought that was interesting. I wanted to share. And I also wanted to know what your guys' thoughts are. This is like, like I even said the other day in one of my other videos, I was like, oh man, I want a robot so bad. And I do, and I think they'd be cool. I mean, there's one open source robot that you can 3D print and build yourself. And I'm like, man, I really want to do that. I don't really, it would take a lot of time that I don't really have to put towards something like that right now. But I'm like, that would be cool. And the robot can like walk around and like pour drinks for you and stuff like that. Simple stuff, you know, and I'm like, oh, I want to have one so bad. I do think this stuff is cool, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this particular endeavor to mass produce thousands of smart robots, not just for the medical field, but also for human companionship so that we can stay socially distanced. My opinion is that we should have social distance when COVID outbreak started, definitely. And we've been doing that and people quarantined and we had lockdowns and all that stuff, but I don't think that should be a forever thing. Permanently isolating us from each other is not good advice. It's not. I think we should definitely be safe. Of course we should be safe, but isolating is not safe because it goes against one of our biological needs. It's like, what do you choose? You know, my opinion, we can't stay quarantined forever. So maybe let's not make thousands and thousands of robots for the purpose of keeping people isolated. That's not a good idea. I think that could go down a very dark path if we just let it run wild. I don't think that would be a good thing. But I think done right, having more robots could be good. That's just my opinion. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.